Hey everybody, this is Peter. In this video segment, we're going to configure remote management with Sourcefire's IPS. So the first thing we're going to do, like always, we'll log on to our Defense Center with our username and password. When we're actually logged onto the system here, you'll see the three tabs across the top that give us uh, the ability to configure our system. We're going to go into Operation or Operations System Settings. And within system settings, you'll see, and we've covered this in other videos, you have the ability to view or add licenses, network interface type configurations, time, blacklist, so on and so on. Also, the ability to add NetFlow devices. We're going to go ahead into remote management <clears throat> and add a new manager. You'll see our current management virtual network, which is 172.16.00.16 on management port 8305. We're going to go ahead and add a new one. And the, the only thing you really have to do to add a new one here is basically put in your management host IP address, which we'll put in, and a registration key. I don't have one right now, so I'm going to basically just put in ABC123. We'll go ahead and save this, and you'll see the results of simply creating a remote management type host. And you'll see here, now we have our uh, management host, which is automatically enabled when you add one in. And you'll see the status is pending registration until it's approved. It's not 100%, I guess, enabled. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's what we wanted to show you in this video. We'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.